Mr. Capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, there's gratitude for you. The finest in Unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? <sighs> old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. I mean, the headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Packed to the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it. You'll be fine. All right, last thing. Helmet and mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue. You have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. The mini sub should be all set up by now. Should be a big door right in front of you. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as falling off a log. Okay, that's... Uh, that's a big door. Wait till you see the rest of the place. Valve on the side there should pop it open. Looks like a lift.
darker in here than it is out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I didn't tick engineer on my application form. Lucky for you, Unitrench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of jennies in here with big old startup levers. Find, pull, voila, instant power. Whatever. But if this goes wrong, I'm not paying for it. Where's all this coming from? How big is this place? Big. It's the hub for a load of the systems in these parts. The garage itself is another part of the facility. See that door beneath the fans? I'm gonna have to swim to it. You're going to have to swim to it. Uh... How much air does this suit have again? Enough. Look, if you get stuck, we'll send a drone after you. They've picked up worse. Okay. All right. We're doing this. Remember, you can adjust your depth as well as your direction. That suit's pretty hardy, so don't worry about poking any holes in it. Believe me, the pencil necks put it through more stress than you ever will. Okay, um, that another door. Hang on there a moment. Time for what the boys in HR call a learning opportunity. If you're sure. Have a look over there. Oh uh, yeah, oxygen stick. Two steps ahead as usual. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Pretty if Don't go leaving that empty case just lying around, though. Unit Trench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, might come in handy. Job's a good one. Head on through to the garage. Getting a little claustrophobic in here. Wait. Are you telling me they haven't put the wallpaper up? Up? Oh, Stan. It's lovely. Clouds and little birds. Soothing. <sighs> Very funny. And there she is. The moon. Pride of the Unitrench fleet. Really? No, she's a piece of junk, but good enough for the likes of you. Really helps the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. She's a solid piece of kid. Now you're a fully qualified Unitrench service diver, we spared no expense. Well, we thought she might come in handy. You'll have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. A couple of buttons on each side there. You know the drill.
about damn time. Fresh air. First lock release. Looks like she's all fueled up. You were a diver once upon a time. Was that here or? Oh, this is the training ground for kiddies. I used to work in the real deep, way down at the original site. Count yourself lucky we don't need you down there, lad. I mean it. to see me? All right. Just like in training. Primary motor on. Check flaps and rudder. Spinning up rotors. Impressive. Ha. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. Think of it like swimming, but faster. And with a higher insurance premium if you smack yourself into something. Green across the board. Looks like we're good. Well, all right. Door should have unlocked. Off you go. Doors working as intended, I see. The wonders of automation. I was kind of expecting a big reveal there, too. It's all about timing, dear boy. You'll see. Lots of life. Even down here. Now, let's get you out of this cave, and we'll see about getting you to your new home. There she is. You, it was about the timing. She can be a beauty, that's for sure. All right, quite enough of that. Off you go. You need to reach the life module. That's the tub you'll be calling home for the next few weeks. You can use the sonar system to highlight your position. Should make getting lost a little harder. I see it. Heading there now. Snug as a bug. Procedure can be a bit fiddly, though, so just uh, take it slow. Pay no mind to the drone there. It's assigned to the area. Our jobs and so on. But uh, try not to run into it. Excellent. Get that suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna sit for a second. It's a, 
This is all. Hey, take your time. It's been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Okay, this is not as bad as I expected. It's actually... Okay, cozy. Is this right? Hey, Tim. Finally. Okay, now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? You'll see. New user identified. Stanley Moray, level three worker. Welcome aboard. Stan, meet Mercury, the newest addition to the Unitrench family. Ah, a talking computer. Merck's a glorified calculator, but he'll help with the admin and the like. Just don't expect any debates on the meaning of existence or anything. Hmm. Pretty swish. You're worth it, Stan. Only the best for Unitrench employees. Uh-huh. Why do I think you're joking? I'm offended, lad. Anyway, now you two are acquainted, you should have access to all the rooms. All rooms now unlocked. I'll give you a moment to familiarize yourself with all the luxurious facilities at your beck and call. You're welcome, by the way. I'd start with the storage room. Make sure your stuff arrived in one piece. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this'll do nicely. hang them up at some point without drilling any holes. <laughs> huh. Crafting table. Had a whole training module on this thing. Raw materials go in. Useful stuff comes out. Very fancy. <laughs> Assuming you've no complaints the rest of the days you're over. Make yourself at home, get some rest. Tomorrow we get to work. Nighty night. Night, Tim. I should probably check in with Emma. Hmm. Not bad, considering what I went through. Ah, oh. yeah, I can make this work. Oh, hey, a computer. They really did push the boat out. Tim said I can call Emma from here. <sighs> hmm, uh, a little more complicated than a telephone, but... 
I think we're good to go. Hi, this is Emma. I'm not here at the moment, obviously, so do the thing after the thing. <sighs> Lost. Hi, Emma. It's Stan. I mean, it's it, it's me. Hi. I uh, I made it down okay. Uh, I know I didn't. Uh, what we said before I left. You you said you needed space, right? And I needed space, so so yeah, this is space. Uh, just the, Tim set me up with a phone. Obviously, uh, it's the number I gave you. He said the the line should be fixed by now, but yeah, it's you know Trent, so. Who knows? I miss us. I miss. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you go. Call me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you should. You should get to bed. this for? I'm the only one down here and they already bagged me. Big day tomorrow? Let's get some shut-eye. This isn't right. This isn't. Why is this here? Where did this come from? Stay down here in bad dreams already. Stanley. It is 7.32 a.m. on Tuesday, the 27th of March. I hope you have a productive day. <sighs> is there any coffee on this wreck? Checking. 
Yes. 10 kilograms of happy morning instant coffee remaining. Great. Detailed. The area seems well mapped. Sounds like Tim's calling. Morning, Tim. There he is. How was the first night? It was, uh... It was good. Yeah. If the whole giant oil conglomerate thing doesn't work out, Yuna Trench has a bright future in mattresses. Only the best for our chosen few. Now, ready to start the day? Raring. Right then. Head on over to the job board to your right there. We'll post up the daily tasks each morning. Simple as that. Simple as that. See you out there. All right. You seem easy enough, relatively speaking. for this stuff. Ugh, horrible stuff. True, but it does produce a huge amount of O2. Never know, it might come in handy. What's with this stuff? I thought it preferred warmer waters. Well, I uh, wouldn't know anything about that. Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Hey there. Let me guess. Joe? Yeah. Hey. Hey there, you. He's quite the celebrity around these parts. Reckon he lost the rest of his part a while back, poor bugger. Don't worry, he doesn't fight. Ah, uh, this job. Definitely has its perks. Ah, slimy. Mission accomplished. Roger that. A job well done. Now you have to. Tim? All right. This bodes well. I'll let you do it. You're afraid about small drop in signal. Roger. But, um, did you get a hold of Emma? No. Gave it a go, but she was... out. Ah. Yeah. Everything... all right there? She... she wasn't happy with me coming down here. As environmentally minded as ever. Ah. Uh, I... well, yes, I, I understand. I'm just uh, glad she's still there for you. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Definitely a leak here, Tim. Got something pouring out of a pipe. Yep, confirmed on our end. We're off from the refinery. Old stuff. Okay. Not to worry. Follow the pipe there until you reach the flow control. That should stop it. Roger. The company's been pushing the system pretty hard of late. A bit more demand. Consumer demand, wars, that sort of thing. It means there might be more leaks, small ones, you know, popping up every now and again. Keep an eye out. You run off now. Another piece of coal.
rope heads into a cave. That's it. Valve should be inside. Just it earlier. Nice bit of kit. Usually we'd have the starter blueprints ready to go, but we're running a bit behind. Get over and grab them, would you? Crafting blueprint. Andy. Hmm. Metal. Use this with a crafting table. Got them. Head inside and get crafting. What if I need more raw materials? Ah, well, times are tough, you know. Belt tightening all over the shop. You'll have to source them yourself. I should get to the life module. Off we go.
Back to the table now. Try it out. This'll come in handy. Should anything untoward happen? Let's get cooking. Officially a master recycler. Good way to reuse all the junk. You may find out there. Now, we're trying to pin down where these comms glitches are coming from. Need you to check the local signals just outside. Follow your marker. I can do that. Stand out. Check on the antennas. Right, oh. Heading there now. This should work with the grassing table. Nice. One man's trash, another man's treasure.
<laughs> Surprisingly spongy. problems here. Tim, I'm at the antenna. Something's definitely not right. Right, I'll radio it in. Have a look and find out what happened. Roger that. Hmm. Looks like something ran into it. Something heavy. transmission packet was sent an hour ago. Whatever happened, happened recently. Whatever it was, try and find it. There's enough space down there, and things shouldn't be colliding. Thank you. 
There you are. Not looking good there, friend. Tim, found a drone. Looks like you got into the oil. Somewhere. Covered in the stuff. That's not normal. I think it has happened a few times of late. I'll mention it to the higher-ups, but they're not exactly known for their responsiveness. Do you ever think about your old man? I, uh... Where's that come from? I don't know. Old age catching up to me. Maybe it was just... Last week I was up on the rig, and there were these trawlers. Give me and your dad all in the net up there. Good old days. Sometimes. What's that? I do think of it. Sometimes. Good. Take the rest of the day, lad. Oh, and don't forget to fill in that logbook. Important stuff, apparently. Until tomorrow, then. Where did you come from? Guess you... lost your last fight. Solid and useful. My fault. The ship that put to the sea, the name of the ship with the balloon thing. When it blew up her bowed up down, the blow my body was blown. Huh! One day the blue moon come, the rain with sugar and tea and rum. One day when the time is done, we'll take a leave and go. 